everyone. So, uh, Chris, you've been a coach athlete now for how long? Uh, two and a half, three years maybe. Can't yeah. quite remember. It's been a definite repeat offender then. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. So, what would you say are the kind of benefits of having a coach? Um, I find it's just the structure and it's just getting the right balances because I found being a runner before, trying to do stuff by myself, just kept hurting myself, just pulling muscles too often, and that's just like gave no progress. So having a coach, putting the right sort of sessions in, and then almost holding him back, but for longevity was great. Wanted to be able to survive the races I have <laughs> without that sort of that thought of process. Yeah. And how, how the that thought of process helps you in terms of realising goals or recognising goals or achieving the goals in that kind of goal sense? It's just, it just creates a bit of consistency so you know week in week out what you're trying to build towards and it just builds on top of, with it all being very metric based, it, it just helps you build your own process, you match your own progress. And just keep yourself going while still getting that great input from the coaches. And how do you say so that um, coaching works for you? What's that input actually? The coach kind of helps with for you. It's it's just great, really. Um, I don't really need to think about anything. I just need to give my feedback to my coach, and she takes that on board. She always listens, and then just adapts stuff where I need it to be adapted to or if I'm really enjoying something, should build it up again. And how would you say that relate, your relationship with the coach has sort of changed over, over the duration that you've been working with them? Um, it's been very good. It's, I've been more surprised. That when I first started, it was obviously it was a very kind of professional relationship, but then as time's gone on, it's become more friendly, more of a friend, and then almost like a mentor mentee type relationship as well where it's just great levels of respect she she's fully bought into what i'm trying to do i understand what she's trying to get me to do so it's great and how do you how how much importance or how does that play an importance in the actual delivery of the sessions then how do you mean um so how, how does the relationship help with the the actual I mean, everyone thinks coaching is about doing another session or, or something along those lines, so how does it help? Um, she's, well, she knows me. She knows what my mind's like now. She knows what my body's like, so she never sets me a session she doesn't think I can do. So if I feel like it's a hard session, she knows it's going to be a hard session, but she knows it's always going to be right at the top end. It's always going to be pushed. It's not going to be a hide into nothing. Fair enough. So then the sessions themselves, you mentioned it, never, never too hard, but you know that you can do them. Um, <laughs> well. Any other comments about them which you'd like to pass back on to your coach? <laughs> how do you find the sessions? How, how do they populate them to training peaks? Um, most of the time they're great. It's just training, obviously training peaks make it so much easier, but that's just one way of communication, isn't it? It's just a, way to, a place to gather data together. It's still part of the phone calls and emails that we have that give everything around it. Is it so much more? I guess finally, how kind of how would you be able to sort of put a measurement on how much impact coaching has had on your performances? Um, I wouldn't. I probably won't be in the position of thinking that I'll be trying to do full distance races this year, next year. I'd still be hooting around, trying to get through sprints or just trying to survive half marathons. It's just given me the extra confidence and ambition to. Push on. Thank you very much.